Hello everyone, welcome back to the dork side. If you saw my last video about how not to buy a motorcycle, you'll understand why I'm saying this so tentatively in this moment. But, it might be new bike day. Again. That's right everyone, I'm the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when I post awesome new content just like this. Uh, the how not to buy a motorcycle video was actually filmed last night. It is approximately 20 hours later and I've been on Facebook Marketplace today and I think I made a deal. So McLovin and I are gonna get in the truck and we are gonna drive four hours to pick up a motorcycle. So you're gonna get a little road trip video. You're gonna get a new bike day video. You're by the end of this video, you might even get to see what it is. I think you're gonna be surprised. But if you think you know what it is, do me a favor, pause the video and leave a comment right now that says what you think I'm buying. What motorcycle is Dork on the Road buying to turn into a project built bike? So my glove is gonna get here any minute. It is Sunday afternoon at three o'clock. So we are getting started very late because the guy only posted the bike like two hours ago. We are driving to Walla Walla, Washington, which is approximately four and a half hours away, and we will be back very late tonight. But it'll be worth it when I get home with this bad boy, so we're gonna go get it. So you'll say hi to McLovin in a minute. Thanks for coming along with us. Should be a fun motorcycle buying adventure. So, guess who's here? It's McLovin. What's up? And we are 20 minutes into a four hour and 45 minute drive. That's it? We'll see. That's if I drive the speed limit, but um, when you have a police officer in the car, you're allowed to speed. I got this. He's just gonna put his badge on the dash. <laughs> so, um, McLovin. Yes, sir. It is Sunday afternoon. Right. You have to work tomorrow. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. So do I. Yep. Why the hell did you agree to come with me on a 10 hour ride trip to buy a motorcycle that you're not even gonna ride? Um, well, you're gonna, you'll be able to ride it, but not for I, yourself. I, uh, I like the adventure. So thanks, McLovin, for coming on this stupid, idiot journey with me. Things like this that make me feel like I'm in my 20s again. That's Making right. rash, impulsive, <laughs> senseless decisions because I'm impatient and I just want something to happen right now. Well, and you bribe me with Diet Pepsi and jerky, so I'll, I'll, I'll ride along for that. Yeah, yeah, that's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. And, uh, it, you know, if the guy's sketchy, McLovin's cop senses will be like, ding -a -ling -a -ling. That's right. You know, a siren will pop out of his head. <laughs> Warning! <laughs> Warning! <laughs> I'm sure that's what will happen. That's right. Yeah. All right, we'll check in a few times along the way, but we're gonna try to push it, I think, and try to get there as soon as we can. Um, there's gonna be bathroom stops because there's a lot of Diet Pepsi in this truck. Hammer Just down. Saying, yeah. Hammer down. We'll do what we can. All right, we'll see you in a bit. So we're about halfway. We're in the Columbia River Gorge, going down I-84. I want you to get a shot of it. So there's the glove and freezing his things off. It's cold, dude. It's like winter time. You probably can't hear anything but wind. That's my guess. Not bad taking a road trip when you got gorgeous scenery. Although it's gonna be dark on the way back. So you regretting this errand yet? Not yet. Uh, not I will, yet. I will in a couple hours probably. Yeah, when it's midnight <laughs> when we get home. All right, we're gonna hit the road. Six hours later. Okay, well, it's dark. It's much later. We've been on the road for a while, but we stopped here to get gas and it is time to reveal to you the new motorcycle. It is in fact new bike day. And what are your guesses? Type in the comments. What's your guess right now? McLovin, what's your guess? Pan America. Huh. He thinks it's a Harley Davidson Pan America, but it's not. It's a Grom. What? Dork, why did you buy another Grom? That's a fantastic question. Because I am going to build an off-road Grom and we are going to take this thing deep in the back country. We are going to go on the trails. We are going to do dumb, dumb sh on this motorcycle. Uh, what do you think, McLovin? I think it's rad. Worth the drive? Absolutely. Do you support my plan? I always support your plan. Yeah. And do it's new bike day. Regardless of what it is, yeah. it's new bike day. It's new bike day. <laughs> we are here at a gas station. We got gas and we are gonna head home. We still have three and a half hours of driving. It's a 10 hour round trip today. <sighs> All right, we just, I stopped here in Biggs over again on the way home. It is 10.42 at night. You probably have at least three and a half hours ahead of us. We're gonna be home around one o'clock in the morning. Sometimes in life, you have to do things that are dumb, right? And so it, this is, it's not a smart choice, it's not a practical choice, but it is a fun choice to go on a road trip and make a cool memory. And so 
Um, I have a Grom in the back of the truck and I'll never forget how I got this bike. It means a lot to me already just because of the journey to get here. I actually got an extra set of tires. So I got the Mobbers and the Maxxis tires good to go for my off-road build. So we are double covered on off-road accoutrement. McLovin's inside getting food right now. McLovin, what you doing? Eating some uh, truck stop dinner. Road trip food. That's right. That's right. So McLovin, give us your perspective on this whole experience. I'm a man of adventure. So when, uh, when you text me and said, do you want to go on a long road trip? I was like, sure, let me ask the wife. And what, within an hour, we were in the in the yeah. truck on a five hour drive one way. On a work night. On a work night. The, the rash decision making of a younger man. <laughs> it was nice to remember what that's like. That's for sure. This has been a fun trip though. What do you think about this purchase? Like, is it stupid or what? I think it's gonna be entertaining. It's fun to do something different with a bike that most people aren't gonna do with this. Most people are, are riding these to their college classes or stunting them hard and mm -hmm. being uh, doing illegal things in the city. It's a little different story though to take it out into the woods in a manner that it not often gets used. Deep in the woods, that's a plan. Deep in Like the you're woods. gonna see this thing on a mountaintop. That's gonna happen, I promise you. That's right. Mountaintop, maybe even a mile high, <laughs> you will see the Adventure Grom, who has yet to be named, doing all kinds of silly things. Thanks for coming on this road trip with us. Thank you for coming on this You're road trip with welcome. me. Yeah. Thank all of you for coming with us. Uh, it's definitely better to not do this 10 hours by myself right. and to have somebody else to look the bike over and everything, but guy was super cool. Bike looks great, super clean, pretty happy with it. So it's gonna make a great base platform for what we wanna do. And it was pretty close to the price of the one yesterday that you bailed on. Yep, just a couple hundred more. Yep for a much nicer bike, uh, a lot closer to what I want. So, Just but, a lot farther away. <laughs> right, it was worth the 10-hour drive. I'm going to tell myself it was worth the 10-hour drive. All right, y'all. Here it is. The 2014 Honda Grom with the Maxxis Dual Sport tires and a bunch of other mods. But this is going to be the base platform for my next project. Are you surprised? What did you think? Sorry, I'm filming this on my phone because the GoPro just died. I thought it was charged, but apparently it isn't. So I wanted to get you just a good view of the bike and a little walk around so you can see what all I bought. And then we'll talk a little bit about what my plans are for this bad boy. It is two days later, the road trip. We were in a rush and we got home so late that I didn't really film anything after that. Um, but here it is. Here is the Grom. It's a 2014. It's white. It's actually black, but this is a glow in the dark vinyl wrap that the previous owner put on it. And much respect to her for the tedious process of putting that on there, but I think I'm probably going to take it off because it is black underneath. But it's got, as you can see, a rear rack, which is good for what I want to do with it. It's already got, these are basically brand new Max's scooter off-road tires, uh, custom grips, custom mirrors. The Gen 1, so it has the high mount exhaust, also good for what I want to do. So um, this is a few steps in the direction I wanted to head. It has the flush mount turn signals and a uh, fender eliminator with that's an integrated turn signal tail light so that's pretty cool all that's already done washington plate because you know we bought it in washington but pretty excited about this bike and i wanted to get you a good look at it but i think i'm gonna head back to the garage just talk a little bit about why i bought this bike and what i'm planning to do with it so catch up with you in a minute Well, friends, here it is at home and in the garage. Are you surprised? My guess is you're either not surprised at all or super surprised, and there's probably not much in between. Let me just hazard a guess as to what's going on inside your brain right now. I'm gonna attempt to read your mind, hold on. Dork, you're 40 plus and 250 pounds. Why did you buy a Honda Grom? Good, close, accurate? There's a few reasons. The first one is, they're just stupid fun. And if you've ever ridden one, you know what I'm talking about. I made a whole video about why I bought a Grom the first time. Most of that still applies. So the first reason it was just an excuse to get another Grom because I missed putting around on the other one I had. It was super fun. The second and the real reason, the big reason I got this motorcycle is because I want it to be a project bike. And the project I have in mind is turning it into a full on adventure Grom. Mod it up, take it up in the woods, take it on the OHV trails. Just picture this. Sweeping mountain vista. It's a drone shot. The drone flies over the mountain to reveal a Honda Grom sitting on a mountaintop with an overweight middle-aged man standing next to it. 
That's something you haven't seen before. So I want to build an adventure grom. I want to take you guys along on the journey as I add mods and things to this bike. I am not a mechanic. I'm actually a really terrible mechanic and so I definitely wanted to do my first sort of real build on something that was not that expensive and that it wouldn't be that big a deal if I ruined or not that expensive to fix. I've got big plans, big ideas for rides and places to take this and I hope you're either excited, you're like, oh my god, that's ridiculous, or you're willing to give me the benefit of the doubt and trust me when I say this is not turning into a Grom channel, I'm not going to put stunt cage on this and start trying to do stand-up wheelies and stuff, although it'd be pretty neat if I could. So that's the second reason I want to make an adventure Grom, and the third reason is I just think it's funny. I think they're fun bikes, I think it'll be funny to do dumb stuff with this thing. Big plans, gonna mod this bike up, gonna take you guys along the way, and my plan is to record everything I do to it. Usually when I'm working on the bikes and stuff, I don't record because I get really frustrated because I often mess up uh, and it doesn't make for a good video I feel like. My hope, my vow to you is that I'm gonna try to record everything. So what do you think of the idea? What do you think of Adventure Grom? Do you want to see a Grom on top of a mountain or is it a dumb waste of time and you want me to go back to riding bikes that are designed to do those things? All right, well this has probably been a pretty long video so thanks for coming along on the journey. Big thanks to McLovin for driving 11 hours round trip with me to pick this up and for helping me check it out and just look it over once we got there. Cool road trip. Uh, check out McLovin's channel if you haven't. But for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you. Excellent! Yay! Oh, bonus! We're in rural Oregon, so I'm pumping my own gas, which we never get to do in the state Woo! of Oregon, so... I'm so good at it. So good. I figured it out. I'm a real boy.